August 10, 1977. Accused son of Sam, serial killer David Berkowitz, is arrested in Yonkers, New York. The 24-year-old postal worker is wanted for slaying six people and wounding seven others in nearby New York City. John Keenan is chief of detectives for the NYPD. He was uh, apprehended. He was advised of his rights. He was re resigned to uh, what appeared to be his fate. He made a statement, well, well you got me. Berkowitz is sentenced to 365 years in prison after confessing to the killings that panicked the Big Apple. 1969. In Los Angeles, Lino and Rosemary LaBianca are murdered in their home by members of Charles Manson's cult. They are slain a day after the cult kills movie actress Sharon Tate and four others in her home. 1921. The war was won by Republicans as well as by Democrats. Franklin D. Roosevelt is stricken with polio at his summer home on the Canadian island of Campobello. The disease paralyzes the future president for the rest of his life. 1988, an apology and compensation for Japanese Americans forced to relocate to internment camps during World War II. President Ronald Reagan signs a measure providing $20,000 payments to surviving detainees of the camps. And 1846, birth of the Smithsonian Institution, the world's largest museum complex. With a stroke of a pen, President James Polk establishes the educational and research facility based in Washington. Today in History, August 10th, Camille Bohannon, the Associated Press.